using AE here. What is up, guys? Using AE here, and I'm going to be bringing you guys. What are you doing, so? Uh, and I'm going to be bringing you guys a tutorial on making the gun show up on the left side of the screen instead of the right side. So I edited this clip a a wee bit. Um, if you want to check it out. And yeah, the scatter looks terrible because I'm on quarter resolution, but when I go to full, it looks a little better. So yeah, um, in case you think that I'm crazy for using it, it looks a little better on uh, full. So yeah, the first thing that I want you guys to know about this effect and why I actually did edit it was because it looks really stupid when you don't edit it, and I'll show you. Alright, so what you're going to want to do when you want this effect is you want to edit it first and then you want to toggle switches mode and click on the 3D layer cube and then after you do that click on your layer click R and then you'll have all these pop up now go to the frame that you shoot so right here for me and you want to change the Y rotation keyframe and go to 180 and it'll make it appear on the left side of the screen. Now you can do this with the X rotation, go 180, and it'll go on the very top, but uh, that doesn't look as nice. So yeah. And then Z rotation is just rotating it sideways. And then orientation is just like. It, yeah, it's, it's the same thing. So yeah. Uh, we're gonna do Y rotation though, because that's what all you guys ask me. And I'm not doing the flash tutorial today, so we. But yeah, I'm not gonna do it today. I'll try to do it tomorrow. And yeah, I'm sorry I haven't didn't post on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, because uh, I was playing Xbox. I guess that's my excuse. That's how bad my excuses. So yeah, it's as simple as that. Just keyframe the frame that you shoot at 180, and then go back one frame, and then keyframe it at zero. So now, if we were to RAM preview it. It would be just like what I showed you earlier. Boom. But also, I want to show you something. If we were to open all these and take out all the effects, and now we ran preview it, look how stupid this is going to look. See, it just suddenly switches to one half of the screen. I mean, there's no wind up, there's no distortion to kind of like trick the human eye. It's no nothing. I mean, to make it run smoother, you're going to want to have, like, optics compensation or motion tile with some blurs so that you can kind of trick the human eye into thinking that, oh, that was actually pretty smooth, trans or, like, a smooth transition from the right to the left instead of what we just saw, which was horrible. All right. So that's all I wanted to show you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for 800, by the way. I never really thought that I would get so far so fast. And next goal, 1K, because I'm going to be giving out a ton of stuff, including another color correction pack, all of my sound effects. Um, and I'm pretty, I can think of a ton more stuff to do, like um, maybe a editing contest with actual prizes, maybe. Aha. So, yeah. The best way to help me get go further is to like, favorite, or comment because uh, it just helps. If you don't know, then I'm not going to go through the process because I want this to be a short tutorial. So yeah, thank you for watching guys, and it's been using AE, and I'm out. Peace.